And today we're going to talk about the three things you need to know before you shop for groceries. And, you know, one of the favorite things I love to do is I love shopping for groceries. But out there today, there's a lot of confusion about, you know, conventional, organic, and GMOs. It's a hotbed topic. We talked a little bit about it. So how do you do that? What are you looking for when you're shopping in the grocery store? And the first rule of thumb is you want to stay on the outside aisles. You know, the way they set up grocery stores is on the outside aisles is usually where the produce is, where all the good things are. In the middle of the store, so here's your store. Out here on this zone, this is good. You get in the middle here, you're dead meat. They got all the bad stuff in the middle that'll make you fat, tired, and lazy. <laughs> Just saying, but that's the reality, folks. You want to stay out of here, okay? So out here, this is where the produce section is, but in today's world, it's hard to tell with labeling sometime. You know, there's these weird worlds like natural, and there's organic, and conventional, and genetically modified, and all these different things and what does that actually mean so we're gonna break this down for you real simple okay the three things so there's a thing a little sticker there's a little sticker we'll call this a little sticker and you see this on your apples and you see it on your oranges and all those things that you'll see out there now if the number starts with a four and it's usually four digits that means it's conventionally grown. So what does that mean? Well, that means, <laughs> conventional is kind of a weird name. This means they use pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. Funny, you know, like suicide and homicide kind of goes in there. It's kind of weird. But anyways, bottom line is all these asides. You don't want those stuff because these chemicals are designed to kill bugs. But you know what? You eat enough of them, I believe that they'll kill you. And that's one of the things that we find in the residues on fat cells for people who've done uh, liposuction. So avoid the four digits. If for some reason you do have to have these, there is an option that you can do. And that is to wash these products in 11.5 pH water produced from a Kangen water ionizer. I do this all the time, even with organics, and sometimes they have stuff on it. So 11.5 pH. That's a very special water that will emulsify oil. All of these herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides, they have an oil-based chemical that if you wash with regular water, it won't come off. They make it an oil base, and the reason why they do that is so it doesn't wash off when they irrigate it or when the rain falls on it. So it won't come off from regular washing and stay away from those spray chemicals that they have. It doesn't make any sense to spray a chemical on your food to wash the chemicals off. That's just like, you know, putting good money after or bad money after more bad money. Okay? So if you have to buy conventional, make sure you have an 11.5 water machine it's this here is worth its weight in gold just for that function it's it and if you uh, forget you can go back to the video where we show the emulsification check that out and you'll see how that works i love this none of that will actually preserve your fruits and vegetables for a lot longer time then we have the the products starting in nines okay so if you have a food that starts with nine this means it's organic, that little sticker. We're talking about the little sticker here that's stuck on the food. If it's a nine, it's organic, and that means it's been organically grown. Now, just a word of wisdom here. If you live outside the, uh, you know, like a growing area, for example, if you're in California, a lot of stuff is shipped in locally, but when, I, when I'm up in Canada, I spend a, a part of my year there, a lot of stuff gets shipped up from California or from maybe Argentina or Chile or wherever it happens to go from. And it may be organically grown, but that could have been on a truck that got sprayed with bugs or chemicals or agents like that. And what I would find is about 25%. This is, a, this is just a rough estimate from you know, my experience and that of our clients. About 25% of these will have some kind of chemical residue on it that can also be washed off with the 11.5. So 
just because it's been organically grown doesn't mean it. It's got a much higher percentage. The other thing is it's organically grown, for the most part, has far more nutrients and is far better for you than conventionally grown foods. Now, the one that you really, really want to avoid is the number eight, okay? This is GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, okay? These here, basically, I call this stuff Frankenfood. You know that movie with Frankenstein where they took something that wasn't alive made it? Well, basically, I mean, what chemists are now doing is they're altering the genetics. Sometimes, like their tomatoes, for example, they're inserting, inserting genes from fruit flies into tomatoes to make the tomatoes do a certain function. Or they insert genes from other organisms to make vegetables. It's very, very strange stuff. And the thing is, is the results of these is virtually unknown in the long term. Although, uh, we talked about this in one of the earlier sessions, uh, if you go through these series, that there is a, a professor at a, I think it was at Princeton, had his son eat a, you know, 10 days of McDonald's, a, a lot of GMOs or genetically modified foods inside that food. And what was interesting, he lost 40% of his gut bacteria, the good guys. He lost 40% of his gut bacteria from eating genetically modified food for 10 days. Another study came out recently that showed a tribe in the Amazon who have you know, virtually no, you know, no exposure to chemicals or agents. Or, know, obviously, they'll get some from, but you know, from this standpoint, there's no barcodes, by the way, on their food. They had 40% more species, gut bacteria. So remember that 500, there's approximately 500 species. Well, these guys had 40% more bacteria. They had like 700 different species. And this guy only had something like 200 or 300 left. Wiped out 200 species in just 10 days. So the thing is, is, you know, don't take chances on genetically modified food. And of course, you have to be sharp to watch these things. They're sneaking this stuff. I know in Canada, we don't have the right as a country to know what is what. But one thing you do know is if you're going with these ones, you've got the best opportunity for success. Stay in the outside aisles while you're shopping. Be sure to wash all your fruits and vegetables with the 11.5 pH. Obviously, if you're doing this, it's an absolute must. Hopefully, you're doing it this. And try and stay away with the code 8. 8 is not something that you want. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you got any questions, before to check in at the website on little tips and tricks that you can find to make your shopping experience better. And we'll see you on the next lesson.